Do you live or own real estate here in Central Florida? If so, you'll want to stick around to hear what the data says about our local real estate market and where it's heading. I'm Chuck Shaver with the Shaver Group at Keller Williams Heritage Realty, and today I will be addressing the residential West Volusia real estate market of Deltona, DeLand, DeBerry, and Orange City as I review the market for the month of November 2021. The current median sale price here in West Volusia was $273,000. That's down about $2,000 from last month, which is the first decline in 2021. However, we're still up about three grand in the last three months and $43,000 over the last year. We finally bucked the trend in the upward sale price, which is big news in itself, but we're still up big over the last year. The selling price to listing price ratio has yet to change. Sellers are still getting their asking prices. However, I've been hearing a bit more pushback from buyers that are well aware of why a home might be sitting on the market when a market is still this good. It took a median of eight days for sellers to go under contract. That's up from about six days or a 33% increase in just one month in eight days in the last three months, which is the longest it's taken to sell a home since back in April. This increase jives perfectly with what I see myself and what I hear from other professionals here in Central Florida. At the end of November, there were 441 homes on the market. That's actually down about 7% in the last month, down about 14% in the last three months, and still down 25% in the last year. Of course, we're still up about 28% from the peak of activity or inventory lows back in April, and really minor monthly changes don't alarm me much, so I'm not really not making much of this number just yet. Freddie Mac's interest rate was about 3.1% at the end of November. That number has held pretty steady over the last month, but it is up from about 2.87% back at the end of August and from about 2.71% a year ago. Here, we see a trend upwards. These numbers can bounce around as well, but I've heard it said that the trend is your friend in the end, even though this trend is surely not a friend of any of my customers. So what's impacting the market? Unemployment moved in the right direction, with the latest number showing around 4.6% here in Florida, which is good news, although it seems that every business owner I know that I speak to is in desperate need of help. Realtor.com recently noted that inflation rose to an alarming 6.2%, which is the highest since November of 1990, and that's even a big change of around 2% that we've enjoyed over the last five years. There's a great article, and I'll include a link to it in the comments below. These higher prices are brought on by our need to pay back all that free money that the government's been given away from the pandemic, combined with supply chain and labor shortage issues that have caused businesses to have to raise their prices just to stay afloat. So where's the real estate market heading? Well, the data here in West Volusia shows that although inventory levels have actually shrunk, which leads to a stronger seller's market, just about everything else, including higher interest rates, more days to sell, and lower selling prices, all point to the market cooling off. Although I believe that most of these leveling factors are just part of a natural ebb and flow, the Fed began doing their part to slow inflation at their November meeting, which will also certainly create an unnatural rise of interest rates. If you'd like to know more about the Fed's plan to taper off their bond purchases, check out the link that I'll include below uh, if you're in need of some sleeping, because that's pretty boring stuff. In sum, we've enjoyed a very good run upwards in this market. We all know that all good things must come to an end, however. Given the out-of-control inflation, I cannot imagine that these rates won't begin rising. And when this happens, affordability will be a much bigger problem for all of us. If you have questions about the market's future, or if you have any questions about the real estate market here in Central Florida, either leave a comment below or reach out to me directly. Lastly, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.